Good morning. Hi, Ranger. Oh. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Catherine. I'm currently a PhD student studying history at The Ohio State University. My specific focus is French history. My more specific focus is women in France during World War I. For today's video, I'm gonna take you guys on a day in my life, but today I thought it would be interesting to talk about self-care and to show you guys how to implement self-care in your day-to-day -day life. And mostly I'm not doing this for you, but I'm doing it for me because I feel like self-care is one of those things that I hype up too much and I'm like, oh, okay, well this day I'm gonna do this. And it ends up being that I'll maybe do one thing a week. And I think self-care is honestly something that you can implement in your day-to-day -day life. It can be really small things. Obviously, self-care is a very broad ranging term. It can mean, mean many things to many different people. Today, my self-care, first of all, is gonna be going on a walk. I think it's really good to get exercise, to get outside, and now that I'm back home, for the next unforeseeable future uh, in Houston. The weather is super amazing and today it's supposed to be another nice sunny day. So I'm gonna go on a walk. I'm actually going to go on a walk with my sister who's gonna bring her dog over. We're gonna take the doggos out on a little walk. I haven't seen my sister since I got back, which means I haven't seen her since this summer. So that will be good to do something outdoors together. And I'm gonna make a little list of things to do. This is a really cute little note. Number one is have a cup of tea. Actually, I do want that to be one of my self-care items today. So great that that's number one. And then go on a walk. And I'm gonna try and come up with little things I can do throughout the day while I'm working on my papers. That way I can both be productive, but also make sure I'm not working myself too hard throughout the day. So first up is breakfast. This morning I'm having a nice stolen and some juice. All right, so for breakfast, I just had a marzipan stolen. I don't know if you can see that, but this is a traditional German. I actually don't know if they eat it for breakfast or for a treat in Germany, but when we get it, we eat it for breakfast. One of my grandma's best friends is from Germany. And every year around Christmas time, she always gets one of these for us and sends it along after we visit my grandma. So we got this, I think last week maybe, and we had yet to open it, so I just ate it. Next up, I'm gonna go work on my papers. I've been trying to get started at around 8.30 these days. It is now 8.42, today got a little late start. My goal for today is to finish one of my papers, it is due today, so I should finish it. I just have one left if I turn in the one today. I just have one left after that. Two of my professors ended up saying, I don't even remember what due date I gave you, so turn it in whenever. I still turned it in on the date on the syllabus for the first one, but the second one I decided, okay, I'll take the extension. So my goal is to turn it in on Monday. I'm getting wisdom to surgery next week on Wednesday and I have my pre-op appointment on Tuesday, so I want the papers done before then. So goal today is turn in my paper for my history of the idea of race in Europe, and then I can continue working on the very last paper and then I'll be done for the semester. Woo! sister Elizabeth she's all dressed for fall she was wearing oh plain plain she was wearing a sweater but then ditched it before we left because it is 70 degrees so we've got the pups where's Kennedy and we're gonna go on a little walk and catch up they've gone off the rails come on guys let's walk 
All right, so I finished my walk with my sister. It was really nice just chatting, catching up, and seeing the pups walk around together. Then I had lunch. Now I am back just making some final edits on this paper before I submit it to my professor, and then that will leave me with only one paper left. So I need to do some reading on the literature for that paper, and that will be pretty much the bulk of my afternoon before I take a little break this evening. I think taking a walk was really good. It's a nice form of self-care that I can do for myself because I'm getting exercise, getting a bit of fresh air, and I'm also taking my mind off my studies for a minute. I think I often get into my head about whatever I'm working on and I'm kind of paralyzed with my writing and really just taking a break and getting out of the house or doing something else than school is a good way to recharge the brain instead of just going straight for a few hours at a time. I also on my lunch break got a call from one of my friends Ashley and she often calls me on her lunch breaks at work and it's nice whenever we get to chat and catch up and that's just another great way to connect with a friend while also just taking a break from my work for just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna get back to it. taking a little bit of a tea time break for the afternoon. I honestly, I cannot get my head straight for this last paper and I think I've honestly just built it up too much in my head. This is the one paper that corresponds directly to my dissertation. I'm writing about motherhood in World War I in Britain and France and I'm doing a historiography paper. So I'm examining how other scholars have already looked at the topic of motherhood. There are several very prominent scholars who have already written about motherhood and this is what I want to do my dissertation on, structures of motherhood, but a lot of the analysis ha that has been done is more discourse analysis, so it's more looking at the rhetoric and not actually the structures of motherhood and how motherhood functioned during the war. And I'm just so stuck. I think part of it is because it's such a long paper. It's 20 pages. I am currently nine pages into the paper and there is still more to say. I haven't even gotten to a huge topic which is welfare during the war but it's just the weight of the entire semester and me not really getting to take any breaks and usually on weekends I'm still working at least for you know three to four hours on the weekend minimum so not taking a break the entire semester so I don't know I think I'm just burnt out very overwhelmed but yeah that's where I'm at right now hopefully this tea will calm me down a little bit. It's an interesting holiday blend that I've never tried. When I lived in France, I lived at a chateau the third and fourth time I lived there, and they have a tea room and they're very into tea. So we would have tea throughout the entire day, literally all the time. And I haven't had that much tea lately. So I'm trying to get back into the tea game. Like I said, I don't drink coffee, so I usually stick towards my other beverages. So I'm curious what you guys drink to help keep you motivated. I know that most people in college or grad school are usually drinking coffee. So I'm very curious to know if any of you guys are coffee drinkers or tea drinkers or what beverages you guys are drinking while you're studying and working. 
So I'm going to have this cup of tea relax for a little bit and try, I need to honestly, I need to give myself a page count to get to by the end of today. That way I have a, a, a nice goal in mind and can try and reach that. All right. So it is a few hours later. I am so tired. I did achieve the small page count uh, benchmark that I gave myself, but it wasn't very big. I, I don't know if I should have taken the extension because of course now I'm just going to procrastinate even more. So I've in my planner, I've kind of mapped out what pages I absolutely have to hit tomorrow and Saturday. But because this is now my only paper left, I don't really have any excuses and I don't have to juggle three readings, three papers. All I have to do is focus on this one all day tomorrow. And hopefully if I get even further than I've given myself, maybe I could take Saturday off. It's only 5 p.m. but I think I'm gonna take a shower and change into a very comfy robe. Usually I shower later at night, but I just want to get comfortable and cozy and even though it doesn't feel like winter temperatures here i like pretending that it's winter for the christmas season so later tonight i am doing something really fun a lot of websites now have watch party features where you can watch with your friends in other states and so my friend colleen and i have been doing this for months now with netflix but hulu recently added a watch party feature as well and a few days ago, we watched the first episode of a really old season of America's Next Top Model. We were watching season six. We we're watching the second episode of the season. So later tonight, we will have a very fun watch party. It's just a fun way to relax and watch TV, but then also stay connected to friends who live in other places. So I'm really thankful for all these services where we can now stay in touch while also experiencing something fun together. And it's honestly so hilarious to watch older seasons of TV shows. There's just something about the older times of reality TV that are so hilarious. Oh, also, also, I keep forgetting. Happy Hanukkah! Tonight is the first night of Hanukkah. You'll be watching this perhaps when Hanukkah is already over. But to all of my Jewish friends and viewers, shout out to you denning happy happy hanukkah on to mention so i'm not doing vlogmas i just don't have the bandwidth or capacity to do that but in addition to my sunday videos i'm gonna try and put out a few extra bonus videos throughout the christmas season while i'm home so hopefully you guys will stay tuned for that i'm gonna try and address some more general grad life questions like what i use technology wise to help me survive as a grad student, how I budget as a grad student. I would also like to do a video on rejection since application season is right now. And fun fact, I got rejected from four out of the five programs that I applied to. And that was a quite a process dealing with that. Um, but if you guys are fellow grad students or applying and there's anything you specifically want to see, I would love to try and make any content that you're looking for. So feel free to drop a comment below and let me know. But yeah, so I'm going to take a little break to get cozy for the rest of the evening and then I will be back. This is eggnog, it's not for you. It's not for you. All right, retake, I had to take Ranger out. He sniffed the eggnog and then decided he wanted to go outside. I've got my robe. I'm getting ready to watch America's Next Top Model as soon as Colleen responds to my text message that I'm ready to go. If you are new to this channel, Colleen was my roommate on the Disney College program back in 2015. And I vlogged that whole adventure. The vlogs are really not great quality per se, but I really enjoy having them as a memory to look back on. And a lot of my friends like going back to watch them. And that is one of the reasons why I decided to start vlogging again and have a record of my own PhD journey. That way in the future, I have something to look back on. So got my eggnog, I'm ready to go for a nice cozy evening. that knows me knows I'm just this down-to-earth person. I just wish that people see who Jade really is. It's crazy. 